In this video, I'll demonstrate the Google Plus functionality in the audience management platform. As with our other outlets, it's possible to schedule posts to multiple pages and get analytics to optimize your efforts. Let's see how it works. Let's start in the Settings tab, where we'll add a Google Plus page to our account. The experience is just the same as adding a Facebook, Twitter, or WordPress outlet. Click the Add button at the bottom of the column on the left, then choose Google Plus Page as your outlet type. The next step is to authorize with Google Plus so that Involver can pull your pages. Once this is complete, you'll be presented with the list of your pages and can select the specific one you'd like to add from that list. Once a Google Plus page is added, you can see it in the left-hand column and manage its associated circles. This includes creating and removing circles, as well as managing which of the followers are in each circle. Here's how that works. To add a circle, click on the orange Add Circle button and give it a name then confirm. The new circle will appear in the circle list for that page. Note that circles are page specific, so you could have two different circles with the same name on two different pages. Thus, you'll want to name your circles to avoid confusion. To remove an existing circle, simply click on the Remove Circle button from the Circle Detail view. Note that removing a circle does not remove the followers in that circle from your page, but only removes that circle. A single follower can be in many circles, or just in your All Follower circle. This last circle is unique because you cannot remove followers from it. The only way a follower is removed is if they remove your brand from one of their circles. Now let's add a follower to a circle. Start from the All Follower circle because all your followers are represented here. Now select a specific follower you'd like to add to another circle. Click on the follower's name and then you'll be presented with a list of the circles to which they can be added with a single click. Let's jump into one of the circles that we just added a user to to confirm that it worked. As you can see, this user is now listed in the list of followers for the circle. To remove an existing follower from a specific circle, simply go into the detail view for that circle and click on the small X next to the follower's name that you'd like to remove. That's an overview of circle management. Now that you've set up circles, let's move on to the publishing experience. We'll move to the Publishing tab to compose our new message. As always, you'll land in the Basic Publishing view, where you can create your message and select outlets to publish it to. As always, posts can include links and videos. You can publish now, schedule a post for later, or save it as a draft, add tags, and all the other functionality we've always offered. To target your message to one or more circles, go into the Advanced Publishing mode. From here, open the drop-down menu to select the specific circles you'd like to publish to. We'll post a message to our test page to see how it works. As you can see, it instantly published to our page. Let's jump back into the audience management platform to look at the history section where you can see all the Google Plus posts you've made. There are some analytics here around shortened URLs, but more robust analytics are available in the analytics section of our platform. Let's check that out. In the analytics section, we've added a new sub-tab just for Google Plus. As before, all the metrics we track are shown in the drop-down menu that sits in the top left of the graph. As you can see, we offer a wide selection of metrics for Google+, including follower, post, comment, reshare, plus one, and circle data. As before, you can select your date range, view daily change, or totals, and compare to past. If you want to drill down more deeply into your data, simply use the drill down drawer that is built into the bottom of the graph. This presentation allows you to compare different metrics side by side for the page in question. At the bottom of the layout, you'll find a selection of sparklines to help you quickly get to the data that you're looking for as categorized by post, circle, and page. That's an overview of our Google Plus integration. We're looking forward to extending this functionality and look forward to your feedback. For more information about the release, visit involver.com forward slash Google Plus. Thanks for watching.